Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the arc discharge method. This method is highly useful for the preparation of nanomaterials. At the same time, it is possible to prepare carbon nanotubes. Especially carbon nanotubes can be prepared through arc discharge method. In this method, especially two carbon dots are separated at a distance of 1 millimeter and it is placed in an inert environment. So coming to the description of the arc discharge method, it consists of two graphite rods separated by 1 millimeter distance. And the whole experiment will be done in a vacuum chamber. That means here this chamber is filled with inert gas such as helium or argon. And especially here two carbon rods will act as the electrodes. These two rods are connected to battery. So, in a vacuum chamber which is filled with inert gas, helium or argon, two carbon rods are placed one millimeter apart. So, this carbon rod will act as the anode and the other carbon rod will act as the cathode. These two rods are connected to the battery and it is capable of generating 100 amperes of current. So, at this high voltage, especially in this vacuum chamber, low pressure will be maintained. So, with the result what happens? Because of the high electric current and low pressure, high arc discharge will take place. With the result, this rod undergoes evaporation and with the result, these carbon nanotubes will be deposited on cathode and whenever the dimensions of these carbon nanotubes are examined these carbon nanotubes are having both single walled nanotube dimensions and multi walled carbon nanotube dimensions so here the yield of the reaction is 30 percent and whenever the length of the carbon nanotubes is examined it generally exhibits 50 micrometers length this is all about the arc discharge method coming to the applications of arc discharge method this arc discharge method is useful for the preparation of silver nanowires it is also possible to prepare graphene flakes it is highly useful for the preparation of carbon nanotubes having both single walled and multi walled dimensions at the same time, it is possible to prepare metal oxide nanomaterials. This is all about the arc discharge method. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.